Hello, Libra. This is your reading or bonus reading starting today, ending probably at the end of the month or try to try to pinpoint the end of July 2020 for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, New Energies, Positive Energies for Libra. We'll see what's going on. As you know, this may not resonate with all Libra individuals, but we try to reach the majority for Libra. And we always look for a positive reading, but if we don't get one, we work through it, right? See what's going on here for Libra. Incoming energy, that is. This is a bonus reading to find out if we know anything more about Libra. King of Cups. Some of you may be dealing with someone who's a little over emotional, someone with a mature nature. Um, you know, they're older usually. Uh, King of Cups, something could, went wrong in their life. Maybe, you know, they're sick. Maybe they lost their job. Could be any reason. Sometimes they're just, you know, over emotional um, or over emotional situations with the King of Cups. <clears throat> Page of Wands, maybe in the past there was a passionate energy that came in. Maybe you were dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but also could be, like I said, receiving or giving passionate messages in some way. It also could be a quick energy. It's a past energy. We'll clarify. Five of Cups is your obstacle. You're feeling disappointed or someone is disappointed around you. Maybe you're disappointed in the King of Cups, you know, or over-emotional situation. You're trying to avoid a tower event. This is a tower in reverse. And that's the current environment. You're trying to stop everything from crumbling down around you. What is coming towards you? The Five of Pentacles. Someone is feeling pretty much left out. It's what's coming towards you. Um, it could be that King of Cups energy. Someone is feeling left out. They feel like you abandoned them in some way. In the end, you got the Nine of Cups. There's wish fulfillment coming in. But you got someone coming towards you or a situation coming towards you where something is feeling really left out and they feel like they don't have enough. So let's find out what's going on. You do get wish fulfillment. But I do also see the obstacle as you being disappointed or someone around you is. Let's find out more. Because I know you get your wish, but you're also trying to avoid a tower. Maybe you get your wish in that, but we're going to find out. Let's see what the Page of Wands is about. I need two cards for the Page of Wands for Libra. Let's see what's going on here. Two of Coins. Big changes in the past. And you went within. And you thought about it. You thought about maybe even making changes. And maybe you sent a passion and energy to somebody stating, I want to make changes in my life. I want change. It also could be that you're um, taking on more than one thing that's um, <clears throat> keeping you busy or you're trying to. But you also went within a little. <clears throat> For some of you, you could be dealing with a Virgo. But I do see you going within about um, considering change, at least in the past you were, and there was a lot of change in the world. We already know that. The obstacle is the Five of Cups. Someone's feeling really disappointed. Most likely you are. You're disappointed in something or somebody. And the, the, the story with this card is that you're seeing the negatives of the three cups that are spilled in front of you. And you're disappointed in whatever happened in life that made you feel like things just did not work out. But if you also see behind this card, is somebody, it's, you have two full cups behind you, but you're not seeing them. So there is a positive energy out there. You're just not seeing it. Yeah, and that's the obstacle. You're not seeing maybe something really positive. So I need two cards for the Five of Cups for um, Libra. Two cards, please. Page of Cups. Again, it could be messages of the emotional nature and definitely have to do with your finances. You're disappointed over maybe something you heard about. Like I said, it could be a job, an emotional situation that maybe um, prolonged you getting your overall wealth. You know, you thought you were going somewhere in life and something got cut off when it has to, has to do with money. 
in the current environment, you're trying to overcome a tower situation. You're trying to turn your life around. You don't want things to come crumbling down. And that's the current environment. So I need two cards, please, for Libra. Two cards. Yeah, so there's, it's like there's no give and take. You're trying to do some give and take with people. And also could be also... You're dealing with some, again, like you're feeling like you don't have enough money for a lot of you. And you're trying to turn that around. You're trying to turn that situation around big time. And you're trying to, you were trying to save money. You were trying to save money. You were trying to accumulate wealth. And it's like it just went away. It just disappeared on you. And it's like every time you try to do something, it's like no one's, no one's helping you. You feel like no one is going to be there for you. There's no give and take, you feel like. You feel like every time you're trying to do something, um, it kind of disappears on you. Or you, when you're trying to get help, it's like no one's around to help you. And like I said, you're trying to overcome a tower. You're trying to pre um, prevent it um, from things coming crumbling down. What is coming towards you is the Five of Pentacles. Now, the story with the Five of Pentacles is that someone is feeling left out like they don't have enough, you know? But it also means someone can help you. There's help out there. Like someone could give you something. Um, it also could be because it's the outside environment coming towards you is that someone's coming towards you that may actually help you with your Five of Pentacles. Maybe they're the person that's helping you or they're the person that's suffering. So I need two cards for the Five of Pentacles for Libra. Two cards, please. Uh, Six of Cups is definitely someone from the past coming towards you over you feeling left out. Someone that walked away at one time from you. Or maybe they left, they had to go somewhere. But they weren't always there, but they're coming towards you. And maybe they're feeling left out. Like I said, maybe you're feeling or, or not having enough. Maybe they feel this way or you don't. You are feeling like you don't have enough. And maybe they're coming to help you in some way or check on you. It could go either way. But I do see them coming towards you. Someone that had walked away before. It has to do with someone feeling abandoned. And that could be it too. But, and the reason why I'm saying this is because it's the energy that's, like I said, is coming towards you. So someone that had walked away from the past... Maybe they're feeling a little banned and neglected, like I said, also. It can, like I, it can go either way. I don't want to keep on carrying on. Up, You get the Nine of Cups in the end. You get wish fulfillment in something. So I need two cards for the Nine of Cups, please, for Libra. Two cards. Page of Wands. You're going to get a passionate message that you want to hear about. Someone's going to resurrect something with you. I thought so. Yeah, someone's going to collaborate. That's a three of coin. Let's find out what um you're walking towards. What's your next steps you should make? Where you should go in life, or at least in July. The next steps you should you should go towards. So I need a card for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising from the Sacred Travelers Oracle cards. I need a card for. Libra. I do see someone trying to resurrect something. You're gonna hear you're gonna hear about somebody from the past. I know it kind of sounds cliche. Wondrous University. Walk uh, run wondrous universe. Walk in beauty. So be beautiful. Walk in beauty. Um know that you are beautiful. A breakthrough is at hand. Yeah. Feel beautiful again. Some of you may be feeling a little down and um dress up. Even if you're not going anywhere, dress up. Go some, you know, even, even if you feel like you can't go nowhere is what I'm trying to say. Um, make it like you're going to go somewhere because there's a breakthrough coming in when it comes to your life. You're getting wish fulfillment. And like I said, someone's going to resurrect something you thought was gone, something that walked away. Someone from the past. Someone that made you feel a little left out or they felt a little left out. They may help you with your tower situation, not having enough. Feeling like no one was working with you. 
to help you come out of disappointment. That could be that two full cups that you get wish fulfillment. All right, let's see what the moonology says about, you know, the moon energy is going to tell you about your future or give you advice about your future. I need a card for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the bonus for the end of July, the second part of July, I should say. Full Moon and Virgo, you are good enough. I'm feeling like some of you... Let me get another card. I usually don't do that. Step out of your comfort zone. Yeah, dress up, okay? Start feeling um, a little bit better about yourself. Some of you are feeling down and out. And maybe you stop dressing up, stop doing your makeup, stop, you know, cutting, you know, doing your nails, um, dressing up. Uh, working out, working out at home, taking um, walks, exercising. Start doing that again until you start feeling better because that, that'll help you feel better. And it'll, it'll make you also feel like you're good enough again because some of you are in a slump. And it has to do with you're trying to overcome a tower. You're trying to get motivation um, because there is a breakthrough, a breakthrough at hand. And also, if you step out of your comfort zone a little bit, you know, because it's a, that's a north node. We are having some um, north node energies that are pretty um, um, powerful that are coming th that are coming through. I think the moon is going um, by the north node, or the north node and the moon are going to um, conjunct, and also with Venus. So step out of that comfort zone. Um, Dress up, because I have a feeling you're going to be going somewhere. Even though this world is kind of crazy right now, I'm not saying do not do anything dangerous. It just, it's like you're stuck in this rut, and you need to make yourself push forward so um, these good energies can start coming in. Because if you sit on a couch or don't talk to people or don't feel motivated, um, even if you don't feel motivated, like I said, push yourself a little to move forward. Like I said, dress up even if it's for no reason. Do your hair, do your nails, you know, do a different style even though there's no place to go. Okay, just do it because I have a feeling you're going to get wish fulfillment, a new message and something is going to resurrect in your life. You know, a situation is going to resurrect and um, it's going to bring you more happiness and it's going to bring you out of that tower. Something I do believe you avoid. Okay, that is your reading. I'm going to let this go. I will upload it soon. Bye.